What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 11.0.1. Not a huge update, but I wanted to run through the fixes, the bug fixes, what's new in the new operating system, and show you guys a little bit about the performance. So let's jump right into it. So iOS 11.0.1 comes one week after the initial release of iOS 11 to the public, and it is not a huge update here, guys. I'll go ahead and show you guys here, as you guys can see on my iPhone 7, iOS 11.0.1 came in at about 280 megabytes, so very, very small download. Only took me a couple of minutes to install, not long at all. Now, before the installation of iOS 11.0.1, I actually had about 92.26 gigabytes available, after installation, I had 92.2 gigabytes, so really no change in storage there at all before and after installation, which is good. Now, something that actually surprised me about iOS 11.0.1 on my iPhone 7 was actually the Geekbench score. Now, the Geekbench score actually tells you how quick the operating system is, tells you about its speed and performance, and as you guys can see here on my iPhone 7, iOS 11 came in with a single core score of 3016 and a multi-core score of 5960. Now, if I go after I install installed iOS 11.0.1, the single core score actually jumped up to 3322, which seemed like a big jump, so that's good. But the multi-core score actually went down a little bit. So very, very interesting test there. I don't think that iOS 11.0.1 seems really any different to me. So I'm thinking this might be a glitch with my system or my tests or whatever. But I just wanted to show you guys that. And I do think that that's a little off and then it's a little bit of a flaw with my iPhone maybe. But iOS 11.0.1 does actually improve the performance a little bit. Now you will not notice any outward facing changes guys in iOS 11.0.1. It's exactly the same as iOS 11. I've read a lot of articles about it and actually played around with it myself, but it does have a lot of bug fixes under the hood. Apple actually made this all about bug fixes in the performance, and if you jump into the screenshot of their actual update, you can see that it says iOS 11.0.1 includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone and iPad. So they left it very, very vague, and it's really under the hood. So bug fixes myself that I've noticed, not too many. There is still a lag when clicking the home button and actually exiting out of applications. A lot of things still seem buggy, so I'm waiting for those to be ironed out, but Apple actually made a statement about the main fix for this. And I iOS 11.0.1 actually includes an Outlook.com or Exchange email account fix. So if you guys read, they actually had some issues with sending and receiving emails. Users were complaining that it was not working on iOS 11, and you would not be able to send an email using Office 365 or an Exchange account. You'd get an error message saying that it was rejected by the server whenever you tried to send an email using Exchange or Outlook, and that has been fixed in iOS 11.0.1. Apple actually says to upgrade your device to 11.0.1 to fix that issue. So that's the main fix. That's why this was rushed out, guys. But other than that, not too much to talk about here. Just wanted to give you guys the update. So hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up and stick around for more of my videos. I also will have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus account, website, and Instagram account, along with my Patreon account and other social media. So check that out down in the description. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed the new update. And I will keep you guys updated when more updates are released. So stick around and I'll catch you next time. Stay awesome. Peace.